modern lifestyle relies on critical infrastructure and industrial plants that use complex networks of computers, PLC controllers, remote terminal units, and other specialized equipment. Today's control networks have reached a high level of sophistication. They're a testament to the skill and creativity of the engineers who build and operate them. However, as these industrial networks have become more complex and interconnected, cybersecurity becomes more and more important. Before we can discuss cybersecurity, we first need to define it. What is cybersecurity? Well, for industrial networks, it's a set of tools, processes, and procedures that ensure the reliability and safety of our plant are not adversely affected by problems that may occur on the control network. Security in the control network is important by itself, but the best long-term results are achieved when cybersecurity is a component of a larger strategy that includes physical security, procedures and training for personnel, and a commitment to continuously measure and improve the performance of the security strategy over time. If we want to address cybersecurity in control networks, we need to understand the nature and the scope of the problem. Some people equate cybersecurity with hackers and terrorists, but when we analyze the incidents that we know about, we find that intentional attacks make up only about 20% of the total number of incidents. Of these intentional attacks, approximately one half are initiated by outside sources. This is the classic hacker or terrorist scenario. The other half are initiated by internal sources, for example, a disgruntled employee. The vast majority of incidents are accidental in nature. Of these, 14% were the result of human error, maybe a control technician or the company's own IT department or consultant. 38% are caused by malware that just happened to find a vulnerable PC inside the plant network. What may be surprising to many people is that almost half of the unintentional cybersecurity incidents are caused by a device or software failure inside the network. So if we want our cybersecurity solution to be most effective, it should be focused on making the plant more reliable and reducing plant downtime. Here is a small sample of the more than 200 incidents that were analyzed. In 2001, a control engineer was testing new software for a programmable logic controller. Thinking he was connected to a test network, he accidentally uploaded the new code to a PLC that was operating on the plant floor. An oil pipeline was shut down for over six hours as a result. In 2005, Daimler Chrysler lost about one hour of production at 13 of their assembly plants in the United States. Somehow a virus found its way onto a server at one of the plants, and from there it spread to the other plants in a matter of seconds. We believe that Chrysler lost about $14 million of production due to this incident. In August 2006, operators at the Browns Ferry nuclear power plant had to manually shut down the reactor after they discovered that it was operating at an unsafe temperature. Later, it was found that the controllers for both the primary and backup cooling systems had crashed when they received a large volume of network traffic from another unrelated controller. These are pretty serious incidents. How did control networks become so vulnerable? During the 1990s, the availability of powerful and low-cost PC technology sparked a revolution in control networks that is still happening today. Plant networks grew rapidly in size and complexity, and they became interconnected with business systems and other networks to a degree that has never been seen before. Unfortunately, security measures in these networks did not keep pace. These changes produced huge improvements in productivity, but also subjected the control systems to new stresses that they were never designed to handle. If we want to maintain those rates of improvement, cybersecurity will have to be part of the plan. The cybersecurity landscape changed significantly with the discovery of the Stuxnet worm in July 2010. This is the first malware that was written specifically to attack an industrial control system. Stuxnet infected at least 100,000 computers worldwide and according to Siemens was found in at least 22 industrial sites. Stuxnet is a very aggressive worm and once it infects a plant network it's very difficult to remove. We believe that Stuxnet was created specifically to attack the uranium enrichment plant in Nantans, Iran. However, some of the software in Stuxnet can be easily reused to develop new attacks and we have already seen new types of malware that use the same software technology. The publicity surrounding Stuxnet has brought a great deal of attention to the vulnerability of most control and SCADA networks. Senior management in major industrial organizations are now asking their own staff and their suppliers, what is your plan for cybersecurity on the plant floor? 
The message is clear. We must be proactive in addressing cybersecurity. There is no other option. The topic of cybersecurity is not going away. It will only increase in importance over time. The good news is that there are solutions to these issues. Vendors and plant operators are responding to the new challenges. If you are an equipment vendor, you should be including requirements for cybersecurity in all your new product designs and taking steps to secure the product that's already in the field. Tofino can help address both these issues. If you operate a SCADA or control network, we invite you to take a closer look at Tofino. Tofino makes it easy to implement cybersecurity in your plant. Contact your Belden Hirschman representative today and get Tofino Security Solutions working for you. Don't wait. The time to act is now.